Are you thinking about creating a reaction channel? Something that maybe even focus on just music? If so, I want to talk to you about the pros and cons of having a music reaction channel. So, so let's talk about it, right? You decided you want to create a YouTube reaction channel. Or you're thinking about it. Or you're just thinking about it. Or you're just thinking about it, right? Right? There are pros and there are cons. There's positives, there's negatives, and everything. You have to keep that in mind, right? So, if you won't, or maybe I won't, I might start with the positives. Because there are plenty positives. There are plenty positives with creating a YouTube music reaction channel, if that makes sense in any way. I'm going to go over some of my numbers with you um, that I've seen positive-wise and negatively. And we'll just go from there. Let's just get into it. All right. So if I had to talk about any, any, any positives, rapid viewership growth, if that makes sense. Rapid viewership growth. Like One thing you're able to do is through doing reactions and building content with other people's content that may have a larger viewership, you're able to kind of um, piggyback it, so to will, so to speak. Um, the problem is with that is you're going to run into copyright issues, and that's going to be a con that we'll talk talk about. We're going to talk about that con as well. But as far as rapid growth viewership, if you can mix some of your own videos with some videos and and figure out a way to grow and then eventually separate or part ways figure or create other channels and push those other channels through it but rapid growth in viewership it works with trending topics personalities and so so forth so we could just do last 300 days right hit advanced mode and if you were to go based off of views so to speak Looking in here, we're looking at Little Buddha, you know, 37,000 views. And this is a video I posted a while ago, and it still garnishes its own thing. It does its own thing, you know, um, and it helps the channel continue to grow. Um, subscribers, 148 in the last year. Um, and then you have these shorts that are pushing as well in a positive way. They're all reactions, all reactions, just gaining and gaining and gaining and gaining. Now, one thing I, I will say is that while doing this, you're able to, if you are a communicator, you can most definitely um, build a community. Uh, you can build engagement with talking throughout the comments because there is a lot of engagement. And if you don't mind being super active and you, you can get in and out of there, you can most definitely talk to people, you know. So, again, you see these spikes right here. And I'm not the most consistent person. I'm off and on when I when I, when I I post. There's like a point where I didn't post for like three months and the, the channel would just carry on its own between 30 to 50,000 views without me posting at all. And now one thing I do enjoy about having a reaction channel is all the new music that I get to experience and discover by having this channel, if that makes sense. I get exposed to music I normally wouldn't listen to that's overseas, um, artists that I probably would have never discovered. Um, there's so much that, that, that probably I wouldn't have been introduced to if I didn't start a reaction channel. And there's a lot of artists I'm fans of, you know, not just by music, by their swagger and everything else that contributes to what makes them them, you know. Now there is another there is another pro, um, collaboration and networking, um, you are able to do. I will say through these reactions I've been able I've been invited to Oliver Tree show. Um I've been able to communicate with other artists through the comments and my DM which has been interesting and and even with their parents and cousins you know the, the, they're, they're proud to be quick be like I'm their dad I'm their uncle or what, whatever the situation may be you know and they do bring in they do bring the artists to your channel so these artists do see the videos you know so if you say something bad about them they go <laughs> they gonna know <laughs> believe it or not they watch they most definitely watch they most definitely watch now, I don't know if we got into it, but when I said about um, as far as gaining a viewership in the last year, right? Okay, so let's go back. So in the last year, there's been I've been shown I've been shown in the feed one million times, right? Six hundred twenty-three thousand views, seventeen thousand likes, and only six hundred and sixty-eight subs, which is more than seven percent. I guess seven percent previous my last year prior. So it, get, it gets interesting when you start seeing these numbers, right? 
It really does. And these numbers do look good. They do look good if you're able to monetize. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere again. Let's get to these cons, yo. Let's get to these cons. Because the cons is really where it's at. The cons are where it's at. Especially for me. Because that's what keeps me from, like, from posting so much or be as aggressive as I used to is because the monetization is not there. I'm like, I'm not, we'll, we'll just talk about it. We'll just talk about it. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. First thing, copyright issues, copyright issues. I always have copyright issues, right? So time we go live, time we go live, we're going to have a copyright right here. Can't view, can't view, can't be paid. Can't view, can't view, can't view. Can't view can't view can't view the only one that's eligible to exchange anything right and it's like i get blocked when going live i get kicked off when going live so it, it makes going live difficult with music the music video especially if you don't you're not um you're not licensed to play it you know and that's where we're coming to is and and then just having to dispute them you know like um let me go to my content now we go to content we start looking at the disputes we got a block we got a block right here it's currently in dispute and then we run into these right here where, hold on, you, we got we got a dispute rejected right here on this run right here, right? The Hanu Mankind Big Dogs, first time hearing, has 15,000 views, still growing. We did it, we got a copyright dispute rejected, rejected right here. So we won't get paid for that <laughs> at all. None of that's going to us, none of that's going to us. That's why I did the country video. <laughs> Let me get 50 cents somewhere. <laughs> Let's be real about it. That's, 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 and then dealing with copyright strikes. Like, I posted a video about um, someone protesting Jews, and I got a freaking strike. And I've been having to deal with this since November 13, 2022, and it's barely going to expire September 17th. Think about that. It's barely expiring September 17th this year. Bruh. <laughs> then, you know, like I said, the monetization challenges, dealing with the disputes, them getting blocked, escrow, limited... It's just so much. Now there are some. These are the these are the country remixes that got pushed through because in, in the beats I made, they got pushed through. But everything else, you see all these reactions. Like you're gonna copyright, 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 and dispute rejected on the um, Post Malone and Luke Combs. It's like we get a lot of that dispute rejected on Eminem and Tobey. So a lot of these videos we're not gonna get paid for, and that's where it comes down to right here. What I talk about with the monetization challenges, estimated revenue on two hundred thousand views. It's $44. That's crazy. That's crazy. To me, that should be closer to a thousand, huh? Am I not? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe my math's off. <laughs> or at least 500 It shouldn't be no $44. I, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. I know that's not what it's supposed to be, but that's what it is because most of the views, most of the view revenue goes to the artist due to the copyrights. I'm not getting, like, if we go right here, right? And we start looking at these numbers and it gets real. It gets real, real, right? We looking at an RPM of five dollars and fifty cents, right there on something that's right here, Swifty Blue. So two dollars sixty cents for five hundred ninety-two views. Like we could, we could get. Let's get real about it. This UG's uh, cemetery video, twelve dollars, and this is the last twenty-eight days that we're talking about. And that's RPM. That's great RPM, but it only paid twenty-eight seven cent, twenty-seven cents because it only got twenty-two views. Like, bruh, bruh. And I don't even want to start getting into content ownership. We could get into content ownership, and that's a whole nother conversation. You know, I get the music videos in it, but if the reaction is doubling up, and I'm actually pausing, and I'm talking, and I'm actually discussing the video, what's the issue? Right? Right? But, you know, you know. And another thing, another thing is going to be algorithm dependence. When, when you got a reaction channel, your reaction channel is going to depend on the trending videos. It's gonna depend on music. It's always gonna have its up and downs. It's always gonna have its up and downs. But it can most definitely grow. Cause this is, again, I'm gonna show you my other channels. I have multiple channels, right? Multiple channels. So if we go to my homepage right here, my wife, Kai the Farmer, she's accumulated uh, 23, almost 24,000 subs. I have a cannabis channel that just started shooting up. I, I did a giveaway at 500 views. And now that was like last week and i mentioned another giveaway and it's already at 691 right quiet party this page has been up for a long time only has 661 subs for gardens gonna be chicken content chicken reviews how-to videos only 85 subs 
I have an open mic page where I film music artists and they do, they stand up on the mic and perform. And then the beat, and then the beat making page I started maybe a month ago and it got six subs. And then a family page, of course. So it, it's a mixture. It's a mixture. It's a mixture of content. Um, and to me, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just think it becomes it ends up being algorithm based and it's like you got to kind of focus on it. Now, if I were to do music reactions and start over and have a whole new page, I would probably do niches. I would have a drill page. I would have a K-pop page. I would have a um, hip hop page, R&B page, uh, you know, just whatever the vibes are for whatever niche it is in, you know, like niche it down. Like just don't have all of them in one. And I bet you if I would have did that, separated them all in, in time, they would have grew separately just as fast, just as fast, especially if you niche down. Because that's what I'm starting to notice. Like, you got to just heavily focus down. I kind of use this Noodles and Kai page to funnel everything, you know, to funnel all my videos. Like, I, everything kind of comes through here. Um, you're going to get the podcast. You're going to get the open mics. You're going to get my music videos I film. You're going to get all my shorts. You're going to get my reactions. So it, it tends to be a mix of content. I try to go live. I try to be better at lives. But, you know, it 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 is what it is and does what it's going to do, you know. So, I don't know. If you think you could be successful at it, go for it. Go for it. I'm not telling you not to. I'm just saying you're going to have to reach out to people to make some money off of it, <laughs> monetizing-wise. <laughs> like, you're going to have to run some ads for some folks. That's all I'm getting at. you got to run some ads. And that's where I'm, that's where I'm, at least what I'm feeling. You know, I was like, I got to sell some ad placements or something. I have to prove that I can consistently show 200 to 400,000 views a month in my head and then sell ad placements. But maybe that's not the way. Maybe there's a whole nother way, you know? Um as far as monetizing the channel because again like i said 44 dollars for a month for 200 000, 000 views ain't cutting it and where are most of these views coming from let's be honest most of views are coming from shorts you're talking about 125 000 views on shorts and 50 000 views in my regular videos which is only paying 27 dollars. i feel like that should be significantly higher but the rpm on this is averaging only 55 cents per thousand views is what i'm getting which is freaking awful awful but Again, whole nother conversation, you know? And there's been better months. Like, if we were to really... Lifetime, right? At the lifetime. My best month in general would be a November at $506. Watch pages was 336 And I think the rest of it came transactions with Super Chats. $162 in Super Chats. So it accumulated $500 for that month, you know? Other than that, I ain't had another $500 a month. Let me show y'all. I ain't had another $500 a month. You got November, October, you see what I mean? That's like the highest month. That's the highest month. And that paid, I got paid 75,000 views. That's I'd be like, hmm, like the things don't, and but the but my playback, my payback CPM was at $5.93, right? Right? Ain't that crazy? Much higher, right? Compared to what I'm being served now based on this, it's like, for real? And we go to watch paid ads and we go down here. I'm supposed to be averaging four dollars and twenty-five cents per thousand, right? Right? And it's fifty thousand. That don't seem right. That seems more like the fifty cent I'm averaging. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I need someone to explain it to me. You know? I don't know. Maybe I need someone to explain it to me. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe y'all can explain it. But hopefully this gives y'all some insight. It helps y'all make a decision if you know as far as a channel that you want to create and if a reaction channel is something you want to dive into and again if i was to do a reaction channel i would include a podcast i would add merch i would add some sort of store i would start collecting emails while you're gain garnishing all this attention you know go ahead and do all that and start sending it somewhere else my best friend my brother from another mother suggested i'd create a patreon and start shooting people in that direction you know as far as videos that can't get monetized on here, you know, or the ones that garnish the most attention. But at the same time, it's like the whole point, I funnel everything through here and then spread it out. That's how I kind of use it, but it changes on. If you have a reaction channel and you and you figured out some things, put it in the comments. Let me know what you figured out. Help me out. <laughs> so I would love to figure out how to monetize these 17,000 followers a whole lot better. Because <laughs> the way I'm doing it, that ain't working that that right there ain't working you know what i mean it it ain't working in the fashion not in the way i would want it to work if that makes sense so this gives y'all some insight helps y'all out um 
And if you have any questions and you got any videos that you, you know, you got topics that you want me to hit on, put them in the comments. And if this was helpful to you, don't forget to hit that sub button. All right, y'all. I'm all at y'all. Till next time.